So here we have the Ford Fiesta on an 18 plate. I'm going to start off by hopping inside the car and running through some controls first of all. Just briefly before we climb inside the car, I think it's what we've seen the boot space. You can see we have reversing sensors. As we approach the back of the car, plenty of boot space as well, uh, along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat should you wish to increase this space even further. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter. On the right-hand side, the speedometer. In the middle at the bottom, the fuel gauge and coolant temperature gauges. And beneath that, it'll show you what gear this car is in. It's an automatic, so we are in park at the moment. Above that, we have the main trip computer, which includes the total miles for the car. They are 5,172. You can change the information uh, that's displayed uh, in that section, should you wish to. And you can do that by using buttons uh, on the steering wheel. For various different menus from your navigation, audio, telephone, uh, vehicle settings, trip computer and around to the digital readout for the speedometer. We back out to the steering wheel. The button I was using to do that is just here. We have stereo and phone controls beneath that. Stereo controls continue on the left along with cruise control and speed limiter. Just behind the steering wheel we have the minus and plus paddles. They are so that you can change gear manually with this automatic gearbox. Over in the center, we then have the main touch screen. So this is where you access your satellite navigation. We've done a full video showing how the sat-nav works, which you can find on our website and YouTube channel. Back out to the main menu, this is where you pay your phone. Search for your vehicle on your device and select it once it is found. And just follow the instructions on screen from there. And with regards to audio, we have AM, FM and DAB radio, CD player, Bluetooth audio so you can stream your music wirelessly. This car also has two separate USB inputs. If you plug devices into those, they will appear up here as further options for you. Working our way down, we have the main volume for your stereo. Uh, we then have climate control. So you can adjust the uh, temperature within the car, the fan speed, of course, the direction you'd like the air to be distributed in. The air conditioning is on at the moment. This button here will turn it off, back on again, or you can hit auto. In doing so, the car will now maintain the temperature you've asked for by taking control of the direction of the air and the fan speed for you. You can override that manually. You'll see auto has now gone off and you can put it back on your own settings here. With a heated rear screen and a proper heated front screen as well. Underneath that, we have one of the two USB inputs I mentioned. 12 volt charging socket, the gear lever for the fully automatic gearbox. We can turn our traction control off from here. This button turns off the stop and start. This vehicle is designed to cut out when it's stationary in traffic to save you fuel. That system is off when that light shows just there. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see this ULES compliant car for yourself and have a test drive, please feel free to call either of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.